What's up guys and gals and we're gonna go through this uh, custom build I did this winter. Uh, check out the cable management, what I got for hardware and how my finished product quote unquote came out. Because we all know this isn't gonna be the finished product. We're always gonna be adding stuff to our computers, making them better, new graphics cards, whatnot. So this is what it is for now. Let's go with that. Um, starting off with the most noticeable, uh, the 24 pin. I single sleeved all of them, and in groups of four, they are um, sleeved the different colors, the black and the blue. Um, all of them in groups of four. I think it came out really, really nicely. It took me about 20 hours to do that, um, sleeving and heat shrinking and all that fun stuff. But I think it came out really nice. I'm really, really happy with it. Um, then we'll go to uh, memory. We have 6 gigs of G scale running at 1600. Uh, we have the i7-950 under there. Um, stock cooler for now until I upgrade to water cooling which is going to be a very long time because I don't need it. Um, for graphics card we just have a uh, EVGA GeForce GTS 450. Um, cheap card. Um, it does alright. It runs Crisis about 37 frames with very high settings and it does work um, 3D gaming as well. Uh, it gets kind of, you know, laggy, like almost, you know, low frame rate, but it does what it needs to. I hope to upgrade that in the future. Um, 850 watt ultra power supply, um, just stock sleeving on all the cables there, besides the 24 pin. Um, let's go to hard drives. Kind of hard to see. But there is the OCZ Vertex 2 in there, 60 gig, and the Hitachi 2 terabyte right there. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't feel like dropping, you know, another 60 bucks to get black SATA connectors, so those are just going to stay red for now. Um, the power cable and the SATAs and the fan for the front of here is all run out through the um, cutout in the hard drive cage. And I'll show you that when we get to the back. Um, we also have the LG Blu-ray burner up in there. And um, right here is a uh, blue LED light strip. I just kind of threw that in here recently to, uh, you know, light it up a little bit. Um, make it, you know, pop a little bit more. And um, this 24 pin really, really looks good with that. And, uh, yeah, I kind of have unsleeved wires and stuff kind of hanging around in there because I just threw that in there. I haven't got to cleaning that up yet. Um, all the fans, except for the one in this bottom hard drive cage, are sleeved. Um, this one, since it's run out through the side of the hard drive cage, you cannot see the fan wire, so I didn't sleeve it. And, but otherwise, all of them, both these 120s, um, the other two 120s in the front, and the uh, big boy up top is even sleeved, even though you only see like an inch and a half of that. Still sleeved it anyways. Uh, I thought about doing this 8-pin here, um, but I really just didn't get around to it. I didn't want to spend the time and the materials to do that. Uh, underneath the... Uh, this is the front panel, hard drive activity, all that crap. All sleeved into one wire. Uh, so I think that came out really well as like along with the uh, 24 pin. Those two probably came out the best and here it is up here. Um, I want to see if I can cut a hole in the top. There's a little gap up here on the other side. See if I can cut a hole in there and run the uh, front panel through there. I might try that. I'm not sure yet. Because that is a lot of wires coming down through there that I could uh, get rid of. Um, 
So, I think that's it. Besides, um, front panel USBs and audio. Those, those are just left the way they were. You can't really see that too much anyways. Um, I don't know. We might do some that with that. We might not. And give me a second. I'll flip it around the back. We'll take a look at the cable management back there. Okay, here we are on the back side of this thing, and it is freaking heavy. Let me tell you, just trying to lift it to turn it around. Dang, this thing is really heavy. Um, so, we're going to go left to right. Uh, right here is just the uh, Molex power. And right here, you can see the... Uh, the unsleeved Molex fan connector and that runs all the way down to this hole right here and you can see where all the wires come out of the uh, hard drive caddy uh, and then this is the hole I cut for all the front panel stuff and the blu-ray burner stuff but I'll show you guys again up and there you can see that little gap I'm gonna see if I can cut a hole through there to run the front panel uh, we'll see. I'm not sure how well that's going to work. Um, the 24 pin, all nice and bundled. And if you can see right here, I actually, this one wire crosses pin numbers from one side to the other. So I sleeved it half in blue and the other half in red so I could bundle them in groups of four and get it to look really nice and clean. So... I'm really, really happy with the way that came out. Um, like I said, it did take about 20 hours of work. So if you plan on single sleeving, doing something like this, it does take a very, very long time, but I think it's worth it. Um, besides that, everything else is, you know, tied down really nice. It's, it's not the cleanest job back here, but again, it doesn't matter because nobody sees this but me. And then you guys who are watching it, on YouTube. So I think that's it. Uh, one last thing, the side panel window. As you can see I have not got that cut out yet. Um, I do plan on doing that still sometime. My piece of plexi is still sitting over here right behind this cardboard. Plexi is still sitting there. Um, I'm just waiting on a plastic cutting bit for my jig and I don't know I guess just the motivation to do it so uh, I think that's it you guys um, one last look it did take a very very long time to put together and took even longer for me to get the motivation to make this video but uh, thanks for sticking with me guys I'll see you later